thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Matter 1.0 was finally released earlier this month after what seemed like a lifetime of delays. But what does this mean for your smart home? And is Matter the silver bullet that we've all been waiting for to finally solve all of our smart home problems and mean that you are going to be throwing all of your smart home devices in the bin? Well, of course not. But there is a lot to talk about and consider as we discuss why you should, or maybe shouldn't, care about Matter. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it so easy to build your online presence with a website in no time at all. They have lots of amazing templates to get you started, all of which can be fully customized to suit your style and your needs using their intuitive drag and drop style interface so that no matter your experience level, you can build your own website that looks just wonderful. Just wonderful. All plans come with 24 seven award-winning support should you ever need it. And all of their websites are auto magically optimized for the perfect desktop or mobile experience. So no matter if you are selling a product, creating guides and tutorials, podcasts, or even newsletters, your website will always give the best user experience. Check out Squarespace for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash everything smart home to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain name using code everything smart home. If you haven't heard of Matter before, let's do a quick recap. Matter, previously known as Project Chip, is a new standard for the smart home intended to solve interoperability between smart home device manufacturers, meaning that smart home users shouldn't need to worry about does this device work with that ecosystem or can I control device X with device Y? The CSA or Connectivity Standards Alliance is responsible for working on the Matter specification and is made up of over 500 companies, including Amazon, Apple, Google, Philips Hue, Samsung, and of course, our friends over at Nabu Casa. The Matter specification can be obtained by anyone through the CSA website and the Matter SDK is open source. Unlike Zigbee, Z-Wave or Bluetooth, which are protocols, however, Matter is a standard which you can think of like a strict set of rules and guidelines which Matter devices must follow. Matter currently runs on Wi-Fi and Thread and also uses Bluetooth for commissioning. If you have been into smart home devices for any length of time, there are two major problems that plague most platforms that you've probably come across. Number one is that devices from one vendor are unlikely to work with devices from another vendor. So say for example, you have a smart bulb from Philips Hue and a motion sensor from Acara. They don't really work well with each other natively and you're going to have to use different apps to manage everything and it's just generally a huge mess. The other problem is the cloud. Unless you have a bit more experience, it's very easy to waste hundreds of pounds on devices that only work with the cloud only to find them as useful as a brick if you ever find yourself without internet. Matter aims to solve both of these major problems. Firstly, by having a specification that devices must follow in order to be certified. So that theoretically a device like say a thermostat made by Google Nest should be able to be connected into the Amazon ecosystem or the Apple ecosystem or whichever ecosystem you as the customer want to use because these devices have been certified and followed the standard. The thing I'm not entirely clear on just yet is that just because devices from different manufacturers can in theory talk to each other, how well will that actually work in practice? So for example, let's say you like to use Google Home as your main smart home application. I would find it hard to believe that Google, who also makes thermostats, will allow you to connect a thermostat from say Tado and say, yep, you can have the exact same treatment, functionality and performance as our first party Nest thermostats. Surely they're one to going to give themselves the upper hand when it comes to their own product. Perhaps that's a little cynical of me and we don't currently know how that's going to pan out yet. So that does remain to be seen. The cloud connectivity problem should in theory be resolved also. So as I mentioned, Matter is a standard that is going to be using Thread as its main protocol. I've done an entire video on Thread and how it works. If you want to check that out in more detail over here, but you can think of Thread kind of like an upgrade to Zigbee. 
It is a local mesh style network that means devices can communicate directly with each other rather than via a cloud server. This has many advantages like still working when your internet goes off, speed, reliability and longevity if the manufacturer of your device closes shop for good. Once again, it remains to be seen how this will work in practice as software imposed on the hub, border router or whatever you want to call it side of things could still require cloud connectivity, but we will see how that pans out again once we see more Matter devices. It's worth mentioning that this is version 1.0 of Matter that has been released and of course the CSA is going to continue working on and developing Matter over time, but this release does add support for only a certain type of device. Currently we have support for light bulbs and switches, smart plugs, smart locks, safety and security sensors, media devices, blinds and shades, garage door controllers, thermostats and HVAC controllers. So quite a decent number of the major stuff is supported, but not quite everything, no vacuums for example. There is also virtually no Matter certified devices out there currently either, and I imagine it is going to take quite a while for a decent number of devices to actually be released. Now, I do believe it's possible for some devices to be upgraded from Zigbee or Thread to support Matter, and some manufacturers have said that that is coming, but I wouldn't bank on it, especially if they can take the chance to sell you more hardware. So I guess... <laughs> Finally, what does this mean for you, the smart home user, if anything? If you are primarily a user of Google Home or Amazon or SmartThings or one of those other ecosystems, then this could be a pretty huge deal for you if things play out the way they are promised. You're getting a much better device compatibility and moving closer to a single platform for all of your devices, better speed, reliability and longevity without any cloud nonsense, which should be a huge win for you, but that comes with a caveat which I will mention in a second. If you're a HomeKit user, then this is probably a little bit less of an upgrade for you because you've already had the benefits of local control for quite some time as part of the HomeKit specification. However, one advantage you do get is you're probably going to have access to a larger catalogue of smart home devices because HomeKit will now be able to use any Matter certified device. However, what if you are a Home Assistant user like me, for example? As mentioned before, Nabucasa are a member of the CSA, meaning that they have access to the exact same specification and code as Google or Apple do, for example, so there is certainly promise there. They also did a live demo and workshop of Matter working in Home Assistant all the way back in June, which up until that point, and actually probably still is really, the best demo that we'd actually seen of Matter working. They also have the Home Assistant Yellow, which has a built-in Zigbee and Thread radio, as well as the Sky Connect, which will provide Thread access for anyone who wants to run it in Home Assistant. So it seems pretty clear to me that Home Assistant is going to have some top tier Matter support in the coming weeks and months. However, the promise of Matter is its interoperability and local control, something which Home Assistant users have been relishing in for literally years at this point. So Matter probably isn't going to be that big a deal for you. You've already had access to local control devices and speed and reliability, and you've also been able to unify all of those devices under one app better than any other ecosystem by far. Especially since I would argue that Home Assistant users do tend to be a bit more cautious of cloud devices in the first place. Regardless of which camp you fall into, does that mean that you should now go out and throw all of your current smart home devices in the bin? No, of course not. Ignoring the fact that there are pretty much zero Matter devices out there right now, I would still encourage some caution before jumping onto the Matter hype train, particularly as we've been burnt with these promises in the past. Wait and see how these devices work first. Do they talk to each other fully without compromise? Do they continue to work without internet access? And are they everything they were promised to be? The only way to make companies change their ways is to vote with your wallet. And the last thing we want is to be having this exact same conversation in another five years time when the next smart home standard is released.
But what is your opinion on matter as a whole? I know this topic divides a lot of people right now. Are you team matter or team it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter! <laughs> Sorry, didn't think I was actually gonna make it through the entire video without making that joke at least once, did you? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And whilst you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and useful and I will see you in the next video.